What's up, guys? Uh, it's Addicted to Beauty here, aka Balling on a Budget. Can you guys believe we are already one month? Like, we're already into our second month. We've already went through one month in the whole new year. We, we're already into our second month of the whole new year. It's crazy. I can't believe it is already February. I feel like January went by fast, but I also feel like it went by slow at the same time. I don't know. It's super weird how I feel about January, but without further ado, I have a new face mask for you guys for the month of February to start off nice and fresh and to get your skin, your skin, your skin nice and healthy and shiny and acne free right before valentine's day girl you know the best time to get your skin prepped up and ready to go is right before valentine's you can have a nice glowy skin and you will just look amazing you're hurting me sir 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 you're standing on my shoulder please get off please get down for the love of god Thank you. For today's facial mask, we're just gonna hop right into it. This is what we got. I know it totally, if you didn't know what it was, if I didn't know what this was, I would think it was applesauce. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, this is not applesauce. This is actually, we are going to be applying bananas. So this is one banana and about two tablespoons of vitamin E oil. So our facial mask today is banana and vitamin E facial mask. So I'm just gonna quickly go over, like always, benefits of both, just so you guys can have a rough rundown so you kind of know like what to be looking out for if you decide to be consistent with this facial mask. If you decide to go along and do this facial mask, bananas. The benefits of bananas helps reduce inflammation. So if you kind of have like a sunburn, um, acne is referred to as inflammation. So this definitely helps out with that. So bananas help reduce inflammation. Bananas are loaded with antioxidants that can help reduce inflammation in the skin. So this means that it can help soothe and calm irritated skin, reduce redness, and even prevent acne. So if you have like any kind of uneven like skin tone, how I kind of have redness by my nose. If you have acne, sunburns, any type of irritated skin, this is the mask for you. We are going to quickly go over benefits of vitamin E oil on your skin. Vitamin E on skin. Let me be more specific, face. Okay, benefits of vitamin E oil. It also kinda works as a sun protectant, so kinda it kind of goes hand in hand with like putting the bananas on your face because this helps with reducing like inflammation. So this helps with sun protection. So this is definitely good because the sun does age your skin. It does like, the sun kind of gives you like premature aging. So if you're in the sun a lot, you'll definitely get a lot of like fine lines and wrinkles sooner than rather if you weren't in the sun a lot. So if you're one of those sun lovers, definitely put vitamin E oil on your skin just to help out and put an extra protective layer on. Another good thing of vitamin E oil is that it is moisturizing, helps calm inflammation, it helps with hyperpigmentation. So that's kind of like the redness. So how I have redness here, if you have like any red splotches anywhere else on your face, it helps with that. It helps to strengthen your skin barrier. It improves dry skin. It's a powerful antioxidant, so obviously it goes hand in hand with the bananas. Um, it helps with acne scarring. So if you're like me, I have acne scars, so I definitely need this. Um, it helps remove dirt, prevents early 
signs of aging, sun pre prevention, we already went over that. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that we didn't go over. Oh, I guess it helps to get rid of dark circles. That's a new one, I had no idea. So, we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm going to apply the facial mask, but I'm going to explain to you guys how I mashed up my banana. Preferably, well not preferably, I think you can use a blender to kind of like get this type of um, like applesauce texture. I believe you can use a blender. I personally did not use a blender. I just peeled my banana and then I kind of like broke it into pieces with my hand and I put it into this container and I took a fork and I just mashed it with a fork. So I just kind of pressed down on the banana and then would like kind of stir it, flip it over. And I just kept mashing it until it became this type of texture or not texture, consistency. So you can try a blender. I was thinking about it, but I didn't. So I did it. Maybe I did it the hard way, maybe I didn't. So I mashed up one banana and obviously one banana gave me a lot of products. So this is definitely a face mask I can use for the next couple of days. You can use half a banana if you're kind of wanting a, maybe like a one time or like say like one or two days use out of it. I would recommend using only half a banana and you know, just eat the other half while you're at it. But I just did a full banana. And then after I mashed up my banana and became like an applesauce consistency, I ended up going in and I took about two tablespoons of vitamin E oil. I didn't use two tablespoons specifically for any reason. I just applied two tablespoons and then I just gave it a quick stir and combined both the banana and the vitamin E oil together. And anytime you use a facial mask, you'll obviously want to do it on clean skin. I preferably like to use clean skin when I do face facial masks because I feel like it works better than rather applying it onto a dirty face. I just feel like, me personally, I feel like that's just gross and not right. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me because I'm weird, but I feel like if my face is clean and I do a facial mask, then the facial mask will work better rather than just applying it on a dirty face. That's how I think about it. So I'm just going in with kind of like a thinner layer. I'm not going too heavy and too cakey with the banana. So I'm just going everywhere. Full disclosure, if you had a great childhood, you would know if you open a banana and you leave it kind of sitting open and the air hits it, the banana does turn brown. So obviously since we mashed up a banana and we're putting it on our face, as time goes and it dries, it will turn brown on your face. So don't expect it to stay this yellow color. You can kind of tell it's starting to turn brown in my container because the air is getting to it. So definitely by the time this facial mask is fully dried and ready to be washed off, do expect your face to be brown. I'm totally checking out. Look at Mufasa in the background. I have never seen him get up this high in his cat house. Look at you. Hello. Hello, kitty. Mwah. Love you. I have never seen him get up that high. I'm impressed. So I just kind of keep applying it. I know I said a thin layer, but I just keep applying it because it feels really good and soothing. So I can definitely tell it's super soothing. But I'm gonna call it good there. And like always with any of our third facial mask, I show you guys, I leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes or until dry. Usually my facial mask for me per personally, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes sometimes, depending on what kind of facial mask we did. So I'm, I usually leave mine on for 15 to 20 minutes, but kind of just depends on you and how it dries on your face. Don't forget, 
it's going to turn brown as you can see it's already turning over to brown so don't be shocked especially if you don't check out yourself while it's drying don't be shocked when you go to your bathroom and you're like oh my my face is brown no it's because of banana just like how the peels turn brown the banana does the same thing as soon as it hits the air so it's going to do the same thing on your face and once this is dry go ahead wash it off with not hot not cold but lukewarm water and like always with any other facial mask you always have to be consistent to see results you can't really do it one time and expect good results you have to be consistent like with anything in life you just have to be consistent constantly doing it every single day wake up do a face mask or right before bed wash your face face mask bed that's what i do i wash my face do a facial mask wash it off go to bed that's easiest for my routine but whatever works for you make sure you're consistent i hope you guys enjoyed today's video happy february and i will see you guys next time peace